Hello there. I want to talk to all of you who are incarcerated in prison, in physical prison or circumstances that have made you a prisoner. If you are whatever in the sex industry, drugs, anything that you've done, don't worry that there's no hope for you. There is hope for you. If you're watching me in prison and you're facing persecution, violence and the rest, just cry to your maker, God. His name is Jesus. He created you. He will come and release you. And he will give you peace in your heart. And if they say to you, there is no hope for you to get out of prison, God will get you out. So trust in Him. Speak to Him. Go to your cell and, and ask Him, Jesus, if you are who they say you are, reveal yourself to me. Change my life and He will do it for you. If you're caught up in the sex industry, you're fed up of your life as it is, just cry to Him. Cry to Him. He will come and deliver you from this bondage. And if you're a sex slave, cry to Jesus. He will deliver you. Don't worry about your sins are too much. You've gone too far because there is hope for everybody. And if you think that you've done too much, you're a big sinner, God isn't interested in you, I have news for you, good news. This is the Bible in Isaiah chapter 1 verse 8. This is your God speaking to you. He said, come now, let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Hallelujah. Isn't that wonderful? God is speaking to you, my brother, my sister, in prison. You who are lonely and you've got no one to turn to, don't be lonely. Talk to Jesus, your creator. He will come and set you free. Don't worry that people are looking down on you, that you're a sinner. But in his eyes, you are a princess, a prince before him. He shed his blood for you. So I'm speaking to you, my brother, my sister. Call on the Lord Jesus. What you should say to him, Lord Jesus, if they say who you are, come and change my life. Change my circumstances. I surrender my life to you. Make me a new creature in Jesus' mighty name. That's all you need to say. So my brother, my sister watching me, there is news, good news, hope in Christ Jesus. This world is not the end. Don't think about suicide. Don't think about suicide because suicide is not the answer. God gave us all life to live it in abundance. Our duty upon this earth to Seek our Creator and worship Him. Maybe you don't know Him, but call Him now. His name is Jesus. He will come and liberate you. He will set you free and make you free and give you peace in your heart. Because the world is full of fear-mongering and people are going to and fro. They have no peace, but there is peace in Christ Jesus. He's calling you, my daughter, my son, Come to me. I will give you peace. I will give you the water of life freely. So my brother and my sister, as you watch me now, surrender to Jesus, your God, your creator. He's waiting to hear from you and he will change your circumstances. He will change your life. The things that you used to do, you will no longer want to do. That you have love for new things heavenly things to please the Lord he will give you the power to do so 
Devil, the devil, Satan, and demons are not in control of the universe. They can persecute and make us do wicked, evil things. But Jesus will set us free because he is above all principalities and powers on this earth, on this planet, in this universe. So call on Jesus. He will come and set you free, my brother and my sister. And I'm speaking to you from my heart. Trust the Lord Jesus. He can set you free. Do you know the devil wants you to be busy with all your circumstances, caught up in stress, in bondage, so that when you die, you will die in your sins. But God doesn't want anyone to be lost. He wants you to come to him, call on him. If you are weak, cry to the Lord Jesus. So all of you watching me now, here's my prayer for you on your behalf. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, I spoke to your children today and I ask you to come to their lives. Fill them with your Holy Spirit. Let a double portion of your spirit be upon them and give them peace give them peace let them be new creatures to be used by the lord father thank you so much that you have given us the the the, the freedom of choice to choose whom we will serve but we have chosen to serve you not the devil and his wicked demons but the lord because there's freedom in christ jesus father we worship you and we thank you thank you for hearing my prayers on behalf of your children who are watching me at this moment because there is hope in christ jesus lord liberate them and set them free in jesus mighty name amen my brother and my sister, if you think that my video has helped you, please write to me, write a comment to me. I will answer all your comments and I will encourage you. I will try to encourage you in the way you should go. So thank you so much for watching my video. May the Lord God be with you. Amen. Praise the Lord.